So with the ATP awards coming out over the last couple of days, Novak Djokovic has come out on social media critiquing one of the awards in particular and maybe feeling a little bit hard done by. Let's go have a look at what Djokovic had to say about the ATP awards this year. This is what Djokovic had to say over on social media about the Coach of the Year award winner. He says, congratulations to Darren and Simone for a great season with Yannick. But then he goes on to say, Goran, I guess we need to win four out of four slams in order for you to maybe, just maybe, be considered Coach of the Year. Winning year-end number one, three Grand Slams, and the World Tour Finals, and making history of this sport is not enough, my dear coach. So very interesting words there. Let's go have a look at some of the other winners of the ATP awards because, to be honest, there are some questionable decisions. So comeback player of the year went to Struff this year ahead of Alexander Zverev who I think had the best comeback of the season. Newcomer of the year went to Arthur Feast ahead of someone like a Ben Shelton who made two Grand Slam quarterfinals and really rocketed up the rankings so strange that it didn't go to Shelton. Most improved player did go to Sinner which you have to agree with because he was the best player especially over the last couple of months beating Djokovic a few times. He was the best player of the year or the most improved player of the year I should say. Coach of the year going to Yannick Sinner and his coaches and then the player of the year did go to Djokovic his eighth player of the year award which is more than anybody else but it is strange because last year the player of the year was Alcaraz and the coach of the year was Juan Carlos Ferrero so it's weird that the player of the year didn't also win coach of the year because you would think it goes hand in hand let me know down in the comments below do you agree with Djokovic's I guess tongue-in-cheek little bit of a dig at the ATP awards we did the tennis talk awards a few weeks ago and you voted for them and they're much more accurate in my opinion than maybe what the ATP I mean newcomer of the year how does Ben Shelton not win that and how does I guess Djokovic not win coach of the year as well because Goran did coach Djokovic to those crazy things but like I said it's not the first time Goran has not won coach of the year after Djokovic has had an insane season 2021 he almost won the calendar slam and Goran still didn't win coach of the year then so I mean I mean, maybe it's just a maybe the ATP don't give the coach of the year to the I guess the player of the year as well it's weird that they don't they did last year but they didn't this year but uh, let me know down in the comments below do you agree with this that Darren Cahill and Yannick Sinner should win coach of the year ahead of Goran and Djokovic Djokovic he had some words to say about not winning coach of the year and Goran being left out again